We've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Suns. Back-to-back -back big the man Golden games. State Warriors. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's Shout out to Bill, story. man. He Thanks. will be missed. And now the Golden State Warriors started. Guard pair on the floor. It's Curry and Thompson. Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And it's McGee in at the five spot. And for the Suns, Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Andre Aiton out there with Durant. And it's Warren in at the small forward position. And Brent, finally, it's here. The first game of the season. These players yeah, like in your damn spot so we can go. like they were itching to get this game underway. Oh, man, all the preparation, the training camp, the taping, the icing, the stretching. Ball. The coaching, let's get it going. Guys are ready to start this long marathon. And we'll see who can come out on top. Now, here's Warren. Free throw line jump shot. It's good. I give Warren a blanket right now. That's his comfort zone. He's snuggling up there. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Pass to Looney. And here's McGee. <laughs> I'm not even moving for that. Curry looking it over. Lock at six. Pass to Wiggins. The three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Outside Durant. Over Wiggins. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, despite his outward demeanor, Durant plays with so much passion, takes the hit, still able to convert. Well, when KD asked out, he, you knew the Nets would get a King's ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen. It's not like he said asked out. KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contending. I don't know why my damn. Hey, don't, don't, don't pay attention to what I'm about to say. Pause. On what I'm about to say, but I don't know why my damn hand is so damn sticky. I guess because it's human. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Curry outside. It's good from long range. Stephen Curry. So active from behind the arc, and he's going to be there all night long. Curry needs just a bit of separation, and he'll let it fire. Ball outside. Goes up at the stripe. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Right? What do you think of that? Well, Steve had a first when ready coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. Well, I think it's a conversation. And here is Paul after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Aiton inside. McGee's there. Oh, what the hell? Here's Booker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Golden State's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Thompson is screen on Paul. Curry passes to Thompson. Oh, There's Booker. Another three for Golden State. Just three love the flow goal. and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. Booker outside. That's the three fly. Cranes the three pointer. Booker's got five points so far. Both teams running to perimeter oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. McGee finds Curry. And the pass to Wiggins. Fires from deep. 
Gets it to go from Mother the arc. The defense has all eyes on Stefan. He exploits that with a dish. Ball outside. Shoots over Curry. Another one falls for Phoenix. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. Here's Curry following the basket by Chris Paul. Curry passes to Looney. Over Durant. No good on the shot. A bit long Damn. Time. Can't even get this rebound. The Suns leading. Passes it to Paul. Over Curry. And it's Phoenix scoring again. How about the way Chris Paul manipulates the defense with the handle there? Phenomenal at keeping his focus. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities. But their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of the game. Now, here's Wiggins. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Thompson for three. He can't get it to go. God so damn. The what the hell, bro? Can't get one rebound? Warren against Wiggins. Outside Warren. Booker in the corner. To the inside. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And Aiton just up over the top at his size to throw that one down. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by six. And some might go as far, Greg, as saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times. And, and their shooting is so exceptional. It hides everything else. Look how they can dominate the glass defensively. Now here's a count the basket. And boy, are they attacking the paint. Selected first overall in the 2018 draft. Team Some teams question if DeAndre Ayton was well worthy of that. Well, it took time for Ayton to find his comfort zone and all of a sudden became a key piece that nobody's questioning much anymore as an inside rebounder, rim protector, and a guy who can score at a high level when asked to. One shot. <coughs> Come on, give him the damn ball. Why are we watching JaVale? Free throw drops for Aiton. Well, Aiton and efficiency go hand in hand. I mean, this guy's field goal percentage is on cloud nine. Curry picks to McGee. Thompson outside. Booker against Curry. Shot to stop the run. It's rebounded by Paul. God damn, bro. You dude ain't getting no damn rebound. There's 154 left in the first. Count that one. Hades got five now. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Yep, that one goes in there. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Paul looking around. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Warriors trail by 11. Thompson passes to Looney. McGee with it. 
Higgins outside. Shoots over Warren. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Five points in the game. Wiggins just has to stay aggressive. A guy who can score from anywhere. Here is Durant. Five points in the game. Booker outside. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball. I'm trying to hold my ground, but. Curry against Paul. I just stay right McGee, here because the they keep putting McGee out here on the perimeter. Outside Curry. Just five on the clock. And a miss there on the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around. Finally, let me get a rebound. He was off. Curry against Paul. On the wing, Booker. You got it. Addition now to Ayton. And it's good with time running down in the shot clock. Ayton's got his third bucket of the night. Such a tremendous physical profile that Eaton has. He's getting it done down low. And a deep three from Curry. Stephen Sinks Curry. it. What range from outside. Wow. <laughs> a big time effort from Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for Phoenix. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We come back right after this. Game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. And so far, they've been getting it done down in the post, outsmarting and outworking the defense to get their baskets. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. Setting the floor for the Warriors. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Looney out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Curry in at the point. And here's Booker after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Ball outside. Shoots over Curry. Ball finds it. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Nine points. <laughs> I did not know he was going to pass with the ball. And as good a passer as we've ever seen in the NBA, Chris Paul setting up a great look that time. Curry against Paul. Wiggins outside. McGee sets the pick for Wiggins. Feeds to McGee. Over eight. Damn. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down McGee. now to just seven on the basket from McGee. I really didn't think he was going to pass that. you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks. Come on, what's the game doing? Opportunity. Now here's Curry. He's got 12. Wiggins left side. Ball against Curry. Another three for Golden State. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Well, Brent, Chris Paul is undoubtedly one of the teammates coming players up in the NBA. And, and that's why he's been able to maintain such a high level of play for so long. As one of his teammates said, he has an IQ that's going to keep him on the floor until he's 50. Phoenix making some changes. Landale's checked in. And Porter's. <laughs> They ain't even let me. Okay, thank you. 152 left in the first half. Shamit on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. Ayton in shot. Right side's there. And that one's good, Ayton. Ayton's got four this quarter. One redem. One rebound. Shadow Storm. He's tightly guarded. Damn it. 
Right side, good. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Sun. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Aiton inside. He's covered by Whiteside. And that one's good, Aiton. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. There's the pick. That's the DiVincenzo. Six on the shot clock. Here's Curry with the three. And another three Stephen for Golden Curry. State. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Shamit kicks to Payne. Shoots over Curry. And the Suns tack on two more. The interior trying to make it tough on Payne. And he just found a way. Warriors trail by seven. There's 31 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Curry with a wide open look. And another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. They looking around. Sorry, Shadow Thor. How about Aiden going up there and showing off a little bit of his skill with the half turn? And you have to like on my second rebound. Right Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Now here's Curry from the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Curry's got 31 points. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Jeff Walker came down from Vegas. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Oh, man, I need to eat and go to bed, bro. I should have been asleep like an hour and a half ago. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. They've been assertive at the offensive end, willing and able to shoulder the scoring for their teams. Yeah, they put on a show for us, Jack. You know, it's something we kind of expected, but two great competitors are really going at it. And time to switch gears. The Suns are in a close one after the first half of play. A huge reason they're up. Offensive rebounding. Great hustle. Running multiple guys on the glass. They're winning the battle of second chance points. Great hustle by you too, Kenny. Breaking it down. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. This be a good time for you to hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Stephen Kirk. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. How is his daughter going to get a boyfriend? Because any dude that look at her going to be like, man, you look just like your dad. Duran is out there with Warren. And it's Aiton in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Damn. The offensive rebound. JaVale going with JaVale. If you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. Durant for three. Traps in the tray. Durant's got 14. And this is one of Kevin Durant's favorite moves. Getting the defense back on its heels, then stop and pop. And here is Curry. Wiggins outside. Just five to shoot. Launches it. Curry shot is off. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Suns lead by six. To the middle. And Katie. Yep. About to run away with it. Now to slow him down. Durant 
such a phenomenal offensive talent. Thompson passes to Looney. Here is McGee. Higgins outside. Pass to Curry. From deep. Connects again Stephen from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? Chris, to be passionate, <laughs> why did you take that shot? Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. Here's Kerr. Did your dad tell you to make a fake Twitter account, too? Did your dad tell you to go join the Warriors? Now, here's Looney, defended by Paul. Thompson right. misses. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Durant kicks to Paul. Looking for Aiton. He gets it in there. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his third assist here tonight. Timeout called the Warriors. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Chris Paul, fourth. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Nine-point game. Wiggins outside, fires the three, carries the long-range jumper. Wiggins has got 13. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since game drafted. Bless his heart. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Following the score by Phoenix. McGee with it. Now defended by... The hell is the game doing? It's three outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Three point How about the last five made shots have all been three? The defense is just giving up a prize. Ball against Kurt. And it's Phoenix scoring again. They have come out of halftime in Fuego. Warriors trail by nine. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes on. Who's he set his screen on? Thompson a screen on Paul. Good, another from three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Paul kicks to KD. Aiton trying to break free. And Aiton throws it down. If Aiton can get in that kind of position, he could be a bully on the inside. Warriors have gone an even 50% for the four here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Here's McGee. Oh! The That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Thought I got that. that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Time on call for Suns. All right, Suns fans, here's one of your Suns And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. Taking a look here at the numbers for Kirk. See, that's why y'all need to rotate. You know, I don't know what the score was. 
on the court for again try, tried to turn down the scoring they've got Dante DiVincenzo so, I don't know he's out there with Curry Andrew Wiggins is out there with JaVale McGee and it's Gabriel in at the power forward damn position. it Good work fucking goes. Wiggins at his size has the ability to stupid ass like that and take it to the rack outside Warren feeds it to Aiton it's over McGee, and that one's good, Aiton. Aiton's got 25 points. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and Pop Man is going for the juggle. Now, here's Curry. Shoots over KD, and the shot is good. The Phoenix Suns has been cut down to 10 on the bucket from Curry. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Look, they turn me sideways, so. does not lack confidence when it comes to his ball handling. Wow, sensational there. Curry against Paul. Now the pass to McGee. Back to Curry. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his fourth day of contest. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track what of. What is how, how, Huh? What was the foul? How do you foul and win? Huh? Phoenix on defense. Leading by 12. Gabriel can't get it to go. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Booker left side. And a dunk by Booker. And there's not a thing you can do against Devin Booker when he's heating up like this. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Curry passes to McGee. Back to Curry. Here's Gabriel. Down to five on the shot clock. And Durant sends it back. Instinct, timing, length. KD, great D. Ball outside. Booker outside. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And Aiton throws it down. And really Game over. Of this second half. One team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Now, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Here's DiVincenzo following the score by Phoenix. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Connects from three point. How the hell that even? Come on, bro. Curry's got 44. Well, he should be playing this game with an apron on because he's cooking right now. Passes it to Paul. Back to Durant. Let's it go with a three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. KD's got 19 points. Well, there's a nice answer from an operator in Kevin Durant. You hit a three, you know he's coming back at you. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. The tray. And again for three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. I'm out called the Warriors. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. Really? And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, He's had the answer. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only I like this song. His status as a fan this is my jam. <clears throat> Look at the little kid right there. Get your ass over somewhere.
Look at this little dude down there in the bottom of the screen. Good dance around. Sit your ass down some damn way. Come on, 2K. It's a trash can still on the court, yo. It's two of them. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. And Craig, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. Now here's Wiggins. Outside curve. Six to shoot. They double-team curl. Here's Looney. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number eight here in this one already. Now Paul and the Suns call time here. We're going to lose it anyway. Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. That's right, son. Checked in for the Warriors. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin, here's what Monty Williams went over with his team during the timeout. He told them, this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. We may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now here's Durant. a shot at the elbow a three from Warren hands it from downtown and the Suns lead by 16. Not shy from outside there, there's no doubt about that spreading the floor and getting them up and Thompson kicks it to Looney Higgins outside five to shoot pass to Curry this one for three Good, another from three. There it is. A shot that puts him at the top of the record books. Well, Greg, he's now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. Inside. Oh, didn't know you were doing that. Thompson against Booker. Eight in a screen on Thompson. And Booker kicks to Durant. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Warriors trail Damn it. by 13. Thompson outside. Dishes it to McGee. The pass to Kirk. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Over Paul. Yet another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Suns leading by 11. Hooker the pass to Paul. Kicks to Warren. Aiton trying to break free. Warren, good. Warren's got five points now this quarter. He really can score the basketball. It's impressive how he hunts out these kind of shots and starts to score even under pressure. Curry passes to McGee. Damn it. Fudge. Curry as that one goes in. Uh, that's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Now here's Booker. He kicks it to Aiden. The three from Katie. He makes his 10th basket of the night for the field. He has missed two shots from the floor. Even back in Texas when he was in college, KD would shoot that three. It would look good the moment it left his hand then. It still does. Curry against Paul. McGee in the corner. Here's Wiggins. And that one is off. Now the Suns take it the other way. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. 
and there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for Phoenix. They really had a good match. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned in the W. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for DeAndre Ayton. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around. And the Suns ball time. They lead by 14. There's 31 seconds. And so it's Phoenix usually grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never Both felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. Drive home safely. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, TJ. Congrats on the win. You finished strong down the stretch. What was the difference? David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. So for David Aldridge, 2K Sports Crew. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanking My you for showing his us. highlights. And we'll see you next time. I was the MVP. No turnovers. Leading score. Okay, wait, well he did have eight rebounds. All right, man. Stay smart. Stay safe. Let me see what the next game is going to be. Oop, almost messed up. Wizards Pacers. I can't guarantee that's going to be the next video you see, but... <laughs>